Hi there, I'm Colin Green. You're listening to Spike Pit. But this is not one of my normal episodes. I'm calling these episodes my drive-by episodes, wherein I speak a little bit more candidly about the things that are on my mind. I'll be pulling less punches, maybe biting a bit less on my tongue. Now, if you think that's perhaps not such a good thing, then this is not the episode for you. Remember... This is a drive-by. Round and round and round we go. Where we stop. Don't nobody know. (laughs) Hey, Colin, Jason here. I think you threw people off when you republished that episode about lose the term mechanics. I think you threw people off when you republished that episode about lose the term mechanics. I think you threw people off when you republished that episode about lose the term mechanics. Yeah, what's your guy? You got your pen and paper. Here we go. On and on about the whole part where you got hit with the hold person and you're totally out of the combat for that long period of time on the uh, whatever on the stream and everything in the game you know I, I, I think about that and I, and, I, and I feel for you and I feel for you because that GM should have done a better job of keeping you involved it, well, it should have been on them to come up with something to keep you in there but I will also say you know if the players get to use mechanics like that that can take a monster out for a bit the monsters or the enemies should be able to have mechanics to take out the players like that so you know what's good for the goose good for the gander but really it's the the GM that should have kept you more involved not the fact that that particular mechanism, mechanic, effect, whatever you want to call it, is in play. Don't blame that. It's part of the game. How it's used, that's where we should think about it. And so like Evil Jeff obviously didn't hear your episodes where you told him you didn't want to hear from people that said, you know, that's the way it's always been, that's the rules, deal with it. I think as a GM, you've already decided you're not going to use these mechanics. So it's kind of a mute point when you're running the game. If there's a rule for it, then, you know, either we say, no, we don't like that rule, we're going to house rule it out. But if there are no rules for or rules against something, like spell effects, you know, that's something that's going around right now. How long does a spell last? Well, unless the rules say something about it, then it's arneson time. Rulings over rules. Bus. But as things advanced, their relationship was on the rocks. Figure out what you want to do. I, the whole thing of uh, house ruling, or you know, when I hear house rules, that really should be house rulings. Where we decide, well, there's nothing that says when this bell stops or starts. As a GM, you decide. So yeah, don't worry about if you put that whole person in your campaign and you think somebody's getting uh, taken out for a long period of time. Think about it. Hey, when can you start it or stop it or anything like that? Rulings, not rules. Evil Jeff's other point about rulings, not rules, works great if you're the GM, but if you're a player in a game, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good. So, and I kind of think you're approaching it as a player. It's not a coach. 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 It's
it's a choice. It's not a cult, it's a choice. It's not a cult, it's a choice. How do you address this to your GM without insulting them or putting them off? How do you go to your GM and say, hey, it's not cool that you're, I didn't appreciate being left out for an hour? Or how do you tactfully do that without offending the GM? How do you approach this subject with them to do these kind of changes? Anyway, there's my long rant. Have fun with it. 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 Thank you for listening to this Spike Pit Drive-By episode. If you've enjoyed the show, consider spreading the word via social media. Take care. Catch you later.